Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Mervin here. Today I want to share some information about plants. I hope you subscribe and like for further updates. So friends, this is the first tree we are going to talk about. That is the curry leaf tree. It's native to India, Sri Lanka, Bangladesh and Andaman Islands. Its leaves are used in many dishes in the Indian subcontinent, often used in curries. Example lentil or dal in India. It grows to about a height of 4 to 6 meter. Okay, our next plant which we will be talking about is Tulsi, holy basil. This is an aromatic perennial plant in the family of plants called Lemesia. It is native to India's subcontinent and widespread as a cultivated plant throughout Southeast Asian tropics. It is a medicinal herb used to treat cough and cold. Grows to about 4 to 5 feet tall. So friends, as this is a medicinal plant, it is used for many different causes. So just imagine all the causes are like the cough syrup, adulsa, you can google search it too. It is a very good cough syrup, even I have tried it when I had got cough. So in the market you can buy the cough syrup, it's very good to cure cough because that is a cough remedy prepared from Tulsi itself. And these are the seeds that were found. So it is used to grow more Tulsi plants. There will be black seeds that are found into these things. Right now they have to still grow. Friends, now this is the neem tree leaves. Are uh, called the Indian lilac tree leaves. So it grows in tropical and semi tropic regions. Its medicinal uses are that the bark is used for treating malaria, stomach, and skin diseases, and many more diseases. It is also beneficial for preventive cure towards fungal infection. Chewing of these leaves will help purifying the blood, and the tree grows to about a height of 20 meters. Take a closer look at these leaves. Now these are new growing leaves. So look how clear they look. The design. Friends, this is a different type of cactus. It also has very pretty flowers, you can say. And it has pollen pores too. And the neem is beside here. And this is the cactus. The next tree I introduce you all to is the tamarind tree. It is also called as a leguminous tree. It is originated from Africa. The tree has a fruit called tamarind. It is fleshy, juicy and very pulpy. It is brown or reddish in color. It has an acid called tartaric acid. Tamarind is also used in cooking as a taste to food. Tamarind is having vitamin A, B, C, E and K and also has minerals, calcium, copper, iron, magnesium and many more. I shall show you a picture of the fruit now. It looks like this. This is where the, I have removed the seed from and this is the pulpy side. The seed is found inside this. So this also has the acid called tartaric acid.
friends this is the next tree called the palm tree or arcacia it is 30 meters tall and a normal tree is 10 to 15 meters tall it uses a uh, the first thing is the mature kernel is eaten as food palm oil is extracted from the tree and maldives the trunk of the tree that is the wood is used in construction of various houses and buildings and this is also used to make brooms the leaves of this and this friends is called the drumstick tree and that is the tall palm tree this is a almond tree friends you can see in this there are so many trees now this is called the aloe vera plant origin is arabian peninsula but grows in tropical semi tropical and arid climates grows to a height of 100 cm and the benefits of using aloe vera are it reduces dental plaque antioxidant and antibacterial properties lowers blood sugar levels people also make aloe vera juice so friends this is my last plant that is a water plant it is called as algae in english and its other name is chara grows to about 20 to 30 cm in water it is multicellular profusely branched thalloid group plant found in river freshwater ponds lakes and many other places having fresh water thank you friends for watching my video hope you subscribed and like the video for further updates thank you